Harlem in the 80s was depressed economically, but collective culture. This was before gentrification. Because my mom was a Christian, it was a sin for me to play the blues. I'm serving the devil. I was trying to figure out who this guy was. I'm Mr. Satan, hello everybody. Somebody took me aside and said, you know who you're playing with? You're playing with Sterling McGee. He was on Ray Charles's Tangerine label. He played with Etta James, Marvin Gaye, Little Anthony and the Imperials. He backed up James Brown at the Apollo and they would point down the block at the Apollo Theater. If a casting director had been hired to create a sitcom about two opposites together in a blues band, this would be what they'd come up with. It, it drew us, it was like a magnet. I'm really rooted to the ground, just blown away by what I'm hearing and seeing. I don't do it for money, I don't do it for fame. This is my mission. It's a classic romance, you know, it's two guys who are just having a great time. We're an odd looking couple, so what? Sterling had really just kind of fallen off the grid. And what are you gonna do when somebody just disappears? It was basically, he was gone. Boom, he was gone. 